to circle graphing. New document. Nope, don't want to see the old one. Rarely do. Let's uh, add a graph number two. And I can't graph it in function mode because circles aren't functions. They don't pass the vertical line test. So I need to find another way. Well, there are two nice ways. Menu is a great place where things live. So you go to menu and then change the kind of graph entry that we're doing. We're not doing functions. We're going to either do a relation or you can do all kinds of conics in here. But let's first start with the relation. So click on the relation. So it's a relation in terms of x and y. So I'm going to do a circle at center to the origin, like x squared plus y squared. squared. Well, that's too many squares. Um, and let's make that equal 4. So there's a radius of 2. And I just hit enter. And there is my circle. Ain't that nice? All right. Um, and now let's let's try doing the other method. Let's go graph entry again. So again, you hit menu, graph entry, and you go to equation templates, and I want to make a circle. And I'm gonna do it in this form that's already factored. So again, this is wherever your x coordinate is, that's what you put in there. So let's say the x um, or the center, x coordinate, the center, let's say it's at two. And then let's say oh, here it's at negative three. And then let's say this one is going to have a radius of four, so we'll put 16. Oh, it's sorry, squared. So let's do four squared. And that will be 16. And then we hit enter. And there is that circle. There is the equation for it. Beautiful. Look at that. We're graphing circles, and they look like circles. Um, time to go ride a unicorn. All right, later.